Gahima Gumiho. Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. Well, I decided I wanted to do the Do I Have That Other Book Challenge. I did the original Do I Have That Book Challenge a year or two ago. I don't even remember. I saw that the creators created another one and I thought that would be fun to do for this video. So hence why I'm standing up because my bookshelves are kind of spread out a little bit more, so I'm gonna have to probably walk between them. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I have a little notebook here that I wrote the challenges on so I could read them off. First question is, do you have a book with a fox on the cover or part of the plot? All right, so... <laughs> The closest I found was Wicked Fox, and I feel like this should count because she's a Gumiho, which is like a, a nine-tailed fox, and I know it's a, it's technically a magical being, so I feel like that should count because it's still technically a fox. Otherwise, I failed the challenge because I don't think I have any books with foxes on the cover or in them. Maybe I should diversify my fantasy. <laughs> Challenge two is, do you have a book that was published the year you were born or within a three year radius? I'm gonna tell you now, the chances of that is likely slim, but I'm still gonna go ahead and look just in case. Um, this All right, so this challenge was a little bit difficult because I don't have a lot of books older than like 2010 because that's really when I started reading. But I realized that I had a couple of books that were published a little bit older, like The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which was published in 1999, and then Speak, which was also published in 1999. But then I went back a little further and I found that summer by Sarah Dessen and this was uh, published exactly in 1996 which was the year I was born so yay I found it uh who knew my obsession with Sarah Dessen would come through because I literally own all of her books all right so next question is do you have a book with music as a weapon or magic I do actually all right, so the book I have is This Savage Song by Victoria Schraub. This actually uses music as a weapon and it's magic. So uh, August, he's a monster and he uses his music to basically survive because when he plays his violin is when he can consume people's souls, especially people who have sinned, which I thought was a very interesting concept. So past. All right, number four is, do you have a series with mismatched covers? Do I ever? Let me think about this, because I, I think I have a couple. All right, so I only brought two books as an example, because I didn't want to pull out the whole series, because I have it nicely on my shelf. But the series I have is the Boys That Bite series by Marie Mankesi. So the original, like, first three books that I bought had cut these, like, old 90s-styled covers. I don't even know if this is 90s, but it's an old style of cover. And then as the series progressed, they did a revamp. Of the rest of the covers first of all they like had these max markets and then when they did the revamp they had these newer like full length covers with like yeah so this is the series i have number five do you have a book with a shapeshifter yes, sure 
a shapeshifter. So the one I picked was City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This does have shapeshifters in it, and I think even one of the main characters is a shapeshifter. I can't remember if you find out in this book or the second book that they are that, but I figured this fit. Number six. Do you have a book signed by an author? I have plenty of those. Right, so I only pulled out two, but I have a lot of signed books. So I have One of Us is Lying, which is signed. And then I have The Hate You Give, which I got signed at Y'all Fest. And then I even have a couple more. All of my Morgan Matson books are signed. Some of my Sarah Dustin books are signed. Even some of my Cassie Clare books are signed. So I have a good number of signed books. So I nailed that question. Number seven. Do you have a book with a mostly red cover? So I have I'd Tell You I'd Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You by Ali Carter. This is the new revamped cover of the first book. And I adored the series when I read it. I still adore the series. I did a big reread last year of it because I needed to read these new editions because they had extra material in the back and I really wanted to read the extra stuff. So still love them, still my fave series. Next question, eight. Do you have a book between 281 and 306 pages? That's so specific, but we shall see. Um, 353. Zero eight. Damn, some pages over. Um. Alright, so the book I chose was Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins. This has exactly hold on. 293 well actually 296 pages so that's over 281 and under 306 so perfect okay number nine do you have a book with a main character who wears glasses all right so i did find one i found fangirl by rainbow Rowell. so if you, I don't know if you can tell, but right here, this is like Kath, and I think that his name was Liam, Kath and Liam, and you can't, I don't know if you can see it, but Kath is wearing glasses in this, so that was a little hard, but I found it. Number 10, do you have a book with a title that has the same number of letters as your first name? So my name's Alana, <laughs> A-L-L-A-N-A. So, six letters. Darn it. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Okay, so I found something. Luckily, I was a little nervous because I don't have a lot of short titled books. But the one I found was Tattoo by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I'm so glad my queen came through for me. So, this isn't actually an older backlisted book of hers i loved this book so much like you can tell it's so w well worn and read because i just absolutely loved it and i reread it so many times number 11 do you have a book with cybercrime slash technology as a plot point all right so i don't know if this counts but we're just gonna go with it <laughs> so the book i chose was renegades because of the fact that it is sci-fi and it does deal with like superheroes and villains and stuff, I figured it would fit since it does deal with like technology and I think it does have some aspects of cybercrime in it. But that's, I don't know if I'm stretching it or not with this. <laughs> I mean, if I am, then I'm gonna keep stretching. Number 12, do you have a book written in another language or translated to English. All right, so I have The Beast Player by Nahoko Uehashi, and it was translated by Kathy Hirano. So I am excited to read this because I've never actually read a translated work. Also because this was an anime, 
and I really loved that anime so much. Like it just made me feel so many things and it was really a touching story. So I'm intrigued to see how they tie in and if there are similarities or differences and stuff like that. Number 13, do you have a book written by an Asian author? I have several, so be right back. Okay, so I could just pick one to show because I'm weird and I just pulled the majority of the ones that I have. So I have The Way You Make Me Feel by Maureen Gu. I have Somewhere Only We Know, but also by Maureen Gu. I have American Panda by Gloria Chow. My Summer of Love and Misfortune by Lindsay Wong. And then I also have I'll Be the One by Lila Lee, which I'm really, really excited to read because I've re heard really good things about this. Number 14, do you have a book with a moon on the cover? First try, found it. So I have Walk Two Moons by Sharon Creech. And if you, let's get closer. There's this whole thing right here is the moon. So got it. 15, do you have an illustrated children's book? <laughs> okay, so I have two because I'm weird. So I have two that I used to love as a kid. So the first one I have is A Bad Case of Stripes by David Shannon. I loved this story. I literally don't know why. I think it was because it, it was such a colorful like story. And then the second story I have is the true story of the three little pigs. I adored this too because it took such a funny story, like a, an original story that I've heard so many times and just gave it a twist. Number 16. Do you have a collection of fairy tales or myths? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I do. Like, I have anthologies, but I don't think I have a collection specifically of fairy tales and myths. Number 17. Do you have a sci-fi fantasy with an alliance between races? Oh. Alright, so I found one finally. So, the book I have is Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. So, this is about a girl who realizes i can't remember if she knew beforehand or not that she was magical but she gets sent to this sporting school that houses a lot of magical races and there is an alliance between all of them i believe since they're all going to school together so i feel like this counts all right number 18 do you have a book with a narrow front cover there Will Come a Darkness by Katie Ro Rose Poole. So her book, if you can see, there's like a strip of purple here where the cover doesn't really go all the way. So I figured that counted because it's narrower than the rest of the book. So, okay. Number 19. Do you have a book that includes the first chapter of the sequel? So the book I have is An Ember in the Ashes, which is like my favorite book of all time this year. It does have the first chapter of Torch, which I've also already read. So yeah. yeah. Last question. Do you have a book with a broken spine? Alright, so I found one. It took me a bit because I realized like I do read books a lot, but like I don't know if I ever break the spine, break, break the spine. And if I do, it takes me years to do that because I over time I reread them. But the one that I found was the first book in the Mediator series, Shadowland by Meg Cabot. So if you look, the spine's actually pretty messed up. Um, I think this is what they mean. Hopefully it is. If not, I'm making my own rules. All right, so that was the do I have this other book? challenge thing i'm going to tag anyone who wants to do this any of you watching if you want to do this and i will leave all the questions and uh the creators down below as well so you can check them out and their original videos and everything like that so if you like the video please like it down below if you have any comments questions concerns on anything i said or did in this video please leave that in the comment section down below if you're not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds